We are going to make a rhubarb eaten mess. Rhubarb okay. grown everywhere now locally. It's absolutely delicious. This is a taste of Ulster right here. So yeah. if you wouldn't mind, if you can crack on with that vanilla pod, just Certainly. scrape it, get the seeds out. I'll get this chopped up and we'll get this on straight away here. We're going to get these in to cook now. And like I said before, one of the, one of the nice things that I like about the, the rhubarb is you, know, you can stew it down with just some demerara sugar and whatnot. Okay. We're going to use a little bit of strawberry jam. So in with that. And is that seedless jam or? Yeah, yeah. seedless jam. I it's suppose because you want it to be quite smooth, quite okay. a nice soft kind of feeling to it, you know? Yeah. Okay, so there's a lot of, a lot of rhubarb in that, yeah. Yeah, but you need to have a lot of rhubarb. Rhubarb yeah. is the most important flavor in it. Absolutely. Know? If you can pop your uh, vanilla, vanilla in there, pod in yeah. there. Throw the whole pod in. That's right. Just for good measure. Yeah. There we go. Because a lot of the seeds remain on the vanilla pod, even after you scrape it out. Absolutely. There's so, so much flavour yeah. inside the pod. So the last thing we just need to get in here is a little bit of that light demerara sugar. And like I said, that'll just balance out the flavour and yeah. it'll be absolutely delicious. You don't want it too sweet, but at the end of the day, it is a dessert. Yeah. So we're just going to mix that through and then just gently cook this down here. It looks great already, I mean. Yeah, it's the smell, yeah. it's the oh, smell, that's, that's incredible. It's hitting me. Straight away there's a lot of juice coming out oh, of it yeah. already. People seem to cook and cook and cook and cook. Yeah. There's, no, there's no point in that. Because you can see by the moisture that's going to be quite soft once that comes out, so it's not going to take long. About 15 minutes at the most and that's going to be ready. And, and there's no liquid added to that at all, really? None. That, that's, you know, that's no, all that's none. coming off a itself. Little, a little bit of jam and a little Brilliant. bit of sugar and that's it. So it's the meringues now? Yep. So it's dead easy, it's two ingredients, isn't it? We go for one part egg white to two parts sugar. So Brilliant. into the mixer that goes. And all we're gonna do is we can turn that on and bring it up to soft peaks, they call it. Okay. All right. I'll hold that, yeah, there we go. When I was saying about uh, soft peaks, this is what you're looking for here. So it kind of holds its own shape there. Basically, it's not, it's not fully whipped but it's, it's enough to create enough air in it so, it so it holds its own form. That's what we call soft peaks. So once we get to that stage, then if we just put it onto a slightly slower spin, okay, and then basically we just want to add the sugar one spoon by spoon. Maybe just a little bit faster. Sure. That's it. And then just gradually add the sugar bit by bit. I'm doing it bit by bit, just lets it it have a bit of time to get dissolved into the, yeah. into the egg white. If you get a wee bit of lumps like that, it's, it's all right. It's basically just so it incorporates perfectly. That's it. It's in. Really? Just let it spin for maybe another minute or so just to incorporate, and then that's us. This is what you're looking for. You see, it's a lot shinier now. It's got a really nice, smooth consistency. So just get, get the meringue in there. I know you can make piping bags out of uh, greaseproof paper. Absolutely. But for the amount of effort it goes through and for the amount of times it fails, I find it's just easier to get them. All we're going to do is nick the end off that. And flip it upside down. So that's just pushing all the air out to the front, make sure there's no pockets of air behind it. That's it there. Brilliant. Perfect. First thing we do when, when we are doing it is just pop a little bit of uh, meringue in the corner. Mm -hmm. of the tray, each corner, and then we'll stick the grease proof down. This means it doesn't move on you then. Exactly, exactly. Brilliant. So what we'll do is we'll just do little, little individual ones. Oh, air bubble. That should be enough for, I would say, four people. Yeah. Uh, we'll pop it in now. I'd say maybe 35 minutes and we're ready. Brilliant. We've got about 25 minutes in here. You see it's just broken down, but there's still nice little chunks yeah. there. So as we're doing it, we're kind of getting to the, the bit where we're taking the rhubarb off now. You can see there's still distinct pieces there, oh. but basically this is what I was saying about people cooking it too far. When you see that there, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. So we're just gonna pop that into a bowl, and then we're gonna stick it in the fridge and cool it down for our eating mess. Meringues are done. That's us. Perfect. There we go. So if you can see there, basically, what we've got is a nice, like, just crisp on the outside. Yeah. Should be just, just soft in the middle. It's about 35 minutes. You can see it's just gone that off-white color. And see where it's just starting to crack a little bit yeah. there? Perfect. What we have in here, a little bit of Chantilly cream, which is basically just vanilla, sugar, and whipped cream. And it's so, icing sugar? 
Yeah. Yeah, because it just dissolves into the cream. Completely, yeah. completely, yeah. So I'm just going to put a little bit of cream in the bottom okay. of the glass. And what do you reckon? A couple of tablespoons of the rhubarb next? Yeah. Ooh. Do you want me to fire that in? Yeah, go ahead. Hopefully I don't mess it up too much. Meringue's in. We'll see. Two in each one. So the <clears throat> wine glasses are just purely for showmanship, really, aren't they? Yeah, just to yeah. Make it you, look can a use, bit. you could use a martini glass if you want to get really fancy. Oh, yeah. And if you wanted to do this as one big one, I suppose if you had a big, oh, big bowl. Absolutely. Even, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be cool. Dig in. Crack on with the rhubarb. And there you have it. Rhubarb wow. eaten mess. Looks brilliant. Yeah, it's beautiful. All from here and all delicious.